to this one. Hello and welcome to The Flying Show. My name's Carlos Balmaceda and this morning we've travelled to Cooey Rup and I've got here with me John Oliver. How are you, John? Oh, just fine. It's a bit early though. <laughs> yeah, it sure is, isn't it? But it, well, magnificent Melbourne weather or Victorian weather. Um, now, the reason why we're here today, you know, John, you're from Ollie Air, is that right? Or yeah. Melbourne Microlite. So you, yes. s- you do a bit of Microlite flying and teaching, I take it? Yeah, so I operate out of Point Cook, the um, oldest uh, military airfield in the world, uh, yeah. just outside Melbourne. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. And it's a great place to uh, be flying from. You've got great views out there too, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. You can fly in towards Williamstown. Yeah. It's it's just great. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Now, this incredible machine here, aeroplane in a suitcase, they call it. Yes, it's actually bigger than it was before. I've just got, taken it out of my little Astra. Um, all the wheels fold up uh, and the engine comes off. You can get it to this level in about five minutes. So it's easily uh, transported by um, anyone really, it, it, it comes in a little suitcase, the, the main base, which weighs about 25 kilos, another little suitcase for the engine, and the propeller just bolts on with one, one bolt. So five minutes and it's ready to go like this. It takes a little bit longer to put our wing on. We've got to set up the wing which sits on the roof rack, but basically you, can, you don't need a trailer. You can put uh, in any little car, you can put the, the base in the wing on roof racks and you're ready to go in half an hour I suppose. Isn't that brilliant? Now is this your brainchild? Is this uh, a local stuff or uh, imported? No, there's uh, there's quite a lot of them, different varieties around. This one's actually imported from uh, the Ukraine. Uh, the Eros have been around, they're ex-Antonov engineers. Uh, they've been building uh, hang gliders and paragliders for about 25 years and they got into the, the, they do two seaters uh, but the single seaters they got into a few years ago and I believe they're the only ones that have this transportable suitcase idea which is great there's three packages of roughly 25 kilos a carry-on luggage yeah yeah <laughs> well that's brilliant because if you're going overseas I mean what better way to see a, another country <laughs> than to, yeah you know yeah, no, they really, I think uh, in my 25 years of flying trikes, or that's what we call the powered hang gliders, yeah. this is the most exciting thing I've seen, the fact that as I get older, I can carry lighter weights, and yeah. this is perfect, I can get I can get around with it. Yeah, that is fantastic. Now, what's it powered by? What sort of engine we got on it? Um, they're a paraglider engine, which is a, a JPX Corsair, which the company have been around for maybe 30 years, uh, and uh, normally in a para paramotor they have a cage around them but it's a very reliable uh, engine two stroke uh, 180 cc's puts out 25 horsepower which is even enough to get me into the air which <laughs> we're at maximum weight with me <laughs> yeah what what sort of uh, weight is that uh, roughly uh, 100 kilos right. yeah okay and now the engine is that the one that they use in the creaky uh, engine uh, I, be- I believe one of their first engines was the creaky yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. Now, um, what sort of um, fuel range and, and uh, or fuel capacity? Oh, do you want to come? come oh, we'll have here? a bit of a walk yeah. around, yeah. Our, our fuel tank is 18 uh, litres, and uh, it only is about three litres an hour, so wow. way, way too long a fuel range for me. Um, and also, if we walk around it, they, they've got a beautiful little disc brake at the front. Oh, uh, I've only just done a test run down the strip this morning. It's been test flown in the Ukraine for two hours. Every one they build, they test fly their hang gliders, their trikes, their single seaters. Um, yeah, so it's got a little bit of grass on it, but basically it's got the, the disc brake. Uh, uh, under here it's got a little baggage compartment, which also doubles as something to stop the, the rubbish going into your propeller. Yeah. I think yeah. there's this uh, spat here and that. Yeah. Uh, on this side we've got the little instrument panel, which is very tiny, uh, just uh, key on, uh, magneto and push button for the, the start. Yeah, yeah. We've also got uh, cylinder head temperature, taco and hour meter all in this one little gauge. Oh, fantastic. And that, ju- that just velcros on, it, it sits with the engine. Oh, uh, a clever, clever little design. Yeah. Now, um, we'll see later on it packed up, but effectively it's uh, retractable, so these, these are out at the moment. Uh, to retract it, we just pull that in, and the wheels go forward into there. You can apparently do it in in flight. I don't see any need to, but oh, um, yeah, okay. it's it's only travelling at between 30 and 45 knots, so right. the reduction in drag won't be much. Yeah. Um, but fully retractable to make it easy to transport. Um, uh, 18 litre tank, uh, so we'll we'll have heaps of flying time. Around the back. 
so is it is that an imported crop as well? You can't get it locally, like uh, or uh, a bolly, sorry, You could, but this is um, fully certified uh, under DULV, which is a German certification, which our Australian regulations allow. That you can imagine how right. uh, how good the German certification is, yeah. and it's certified with this propeller. So right. this trike unit must have this propeller, must have this engine, so that it's a certified machine. Right. Um, We've got a carbon fibre cover here and the propeller actually sucks the air through to cool it. Oh, brilliant. Um, electric start over here. So again, all, all these fittings, there's, there's two, two bolts that hold the engine on, a throttle cable, um, a quick release fuel and quick release uh, power for the electric start. Yeah, yeah. So you just put it on, two bolts, hook everything up. As I said, it's five minutes to get it ready to go like this. That is so brilliant. And it's already getting dirty. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Isn't yeah. it? But what a brilliant little design. It's you, so compact oh, sorry. and yeah. efficient. Yeah, and you can also get um, the next uh, one I'm, I'm going to order in the next couple of days. Um, you can also get an optional uh, uh, parachute reserve, which is a rocket powered reserve. It sits in here uh, and bolts on. You can see the extra webbing here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're a bit, un, uh, bit concerned about um, having a problem, You've got a parachute too, although these are stressed uh, with a 100 kilo pilot, maximal up weight, about 180, they're stressed to 6 Gs, so wow. 6 times 180, so wow. it's it's pretty unlikely you're going to have a, a problem uh, in the air, but uh, if you do have a problem, uh, you can get a, yeah. a parachute for it. Isn't that a brilliant design? Yeah. Now, I've noticed a little lever here, what is this? Oh uh, yeah, that's your gear, gear lever, so that locks your gear up oh, okay. uh, for, for when you're packing it up. And you've got to click it to uh, release it. Oh, here we go. We can have a, uh, a demonstration. So, and it, it locks oh, up like right, that. Right. Okay. And to unlock it, pull your lever. Pretty easy, isn't it? <laughs> that is a fantastic design. That is absolutely brilliant. And now, uh, this will obviously become available in the market for your everyday people. Now, what sort of cost yeah. range are you looking um, at? The, the, this, these uh, ones from the Ukraine are roughly about sixteen to eighteen thousand, depending on the, the euro price at the time. Um, that's very affordable. Yeah, right? and that's the, the fully certified uh, under the Australian regulations ninety five thirty two. Yeah. Um, I'm developing one now that is under seventy kilos. It will be a little bit cheaper. There's there's a strange regulation in Australia, um, which is basically a powered hang glider regulation. So. Uh, we can do different things with it, but uh, in, in overseas they're all 110 kilos for that regulation. Right, no worries. All right, well look, I'm sorry to interrupt your, your process this morning. Now We'll <laughs> let you keep going with it. I'd love to see it and you hopefully you'll uh, have a bit of a flight yeah. today. Yeah, no problems at all. Carl. No worries, Neil. Thanks very much, John. Thank you.